A flowchart is a diagram that represents a process or workflow. Some scholars call flowchart as a process map or a PMAP or a DLPM which stands for Detailed Level Process Maps. This is a process flow which uses the decision boxes to proceed with next process step. Here in this example, all the green boxes that you see are decision boxes and based on the decision response, next step is to be taken. Most management consultants and Six Sigma professionals prefer to use swim lane diagram or swim lane process maps as these helps you quickly understand the tasks that are performed by different parties or different departments. Now let's talk about the level of detailing that gets captured in these process maps. While this information I could not really find in any book, however for all practical scenarios you can use different levels of process maps for different purposes. A level 1 process map is used for senior leaders or client meetings to give them an overview of the process. A level 3 process map usually used to get an understanding on the process dynamics and the parties that are involved in it. A level 5 process map is mainly used for process improvement initiatives. Management consultants and Six Sigma professionals, they usually start with understanding the process by drawing a flowchart and then try to identify the gaps in the process. Microsoft Visio is frequently used to draw process maps. However, Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint both offers all the required elements to draw a process map. So when you're starting to create a process map, don't try to make it perfect, just get started and you will get better at this. I would highly recommend that for all your business problems, you start with drawing a process map and then you will see the impact that it makes. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you once again.